Hey dear friends, what's going on today? I found this uh, video of Tucker Carlson. Um, I pulled it from a social media site and I thought I would share it with you because it jumped out at me and um, there's rumors is that it's the last uh, speech that he did before he got fired, but I also seen a different longer speech. So I'm not really sure about that. And then there was some rumors swirling around about he was having a falling out with, um, you know, Rupert Murdoch and his sons, and there was some Vanity Fair news stories about that. So there's a lot of uh, gossip swirling around about him. Obviously, you've heard that he's been no longer with Fox News, and that's a big, a big change. But because I, I thought this video had value, I thought I would share it with you. Hopefully, it's permitted on YouTube. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be, uh, but I'm going to... Uh, add it on to the end of this and then you can let me know what you think in the comments so thank you for watching here's the video from tucker carson you have people who are saying i have an idea let's castrate the next generation let's sexually mutilate children I'm sorry that's not a political debate what there's nothing to do with politics what's the outcome we're desiring here an androgynous population is that really what we are we arguing for that i don't i don't think anyone could like defend that as a positive outcome but the weight of the government and uh, you know a lot of corporate interests are behind that. Well, what is that? Well, it's irrational. Hello again. So that was the video by Tucker Carlson. And there's a lot of, as I said, there's a lot of rumors about why he was let go and whether it was because of this speech or that speech. But I believe it could be a different reason. And what it is is we're moving away from corporate influence to influence of the individual. And that might have really been groundbreaking from our current uh, environment with um, Joe Rogan, when he reached such a high level of individual influence that he got canceled off of YouTube. And um, he ended up having to make a deal with Spotify. And so he's kind of a hybrid. I would say that Joe Rogan is kind of half corporate, half individual, because apparently he's kept a certain amount of autonomy to the level that he's autonomous. I really don't know. I really don't know if the guests that he has on his show are all of his choosing. Apparently they give him a list or he gives them a list uh, and he gets to pick out from there. And who knows? I mean, I'm sure that some are... 100% his choosing, and there's some that are not. Enough said. So I, as I said, I think Joe Rogan is a bit of a hybrid, but I believe that Tucker Carlson will be a sort of iconoclast, sort of a, a, a unique individual, because now that he's broken ties with the corporate world, he may be the watershed of the emphasis changing from the corporate media the mainstream media having 90% or 98% of the influence to the individual starting to gain influence. Individuals as opposed to corporate. Now, individuals need a, a team behind them. So you could say, well, that's sort of corporate too. Well, no, but you know what I mean? The main, the main strength, so to speak, the, the power to be heard is no longer a corporation like the CBC or CNN or Fox. It will be the individual person, this person, that person. And we also see it with um, other individuals that have stood up and are willing to speak what they believe in. Jordan Peterson is a good example, right? Um, there's, there's many others. I don't want to name them all because you can name your own people that have influence, that when they speak, that they are heard, and they are noteworthy, they are newsworthy, and they have extensive reach through the internet. Thank God for the internet, which is a decentralized, widely distributed media. Now, I know that the Canadian government is trying to control the media, um, through their Bill C-11 and other shenanigans that they're going to try and implement to force a certain amount of Canadian content and to force filtering through the CRTC.
but my guess is that's not going to work. People can get around that either through VPNs or some other way. There's going to be a way to, to, you know, you can try and firewall all you want, but you know, news still gets through. It gets if it gets through to people all over the world, it'll get through to Canadians. So I'm not too worried about that, and neither should you be. But we should pray. We should pray that truth prevails. We should pray that individuals will be able to stand up, people like James Lindsay, even though some of his ideas I don't agree with and some of his theories might be a little bit off. I'm thankful that he's standing up and speaking his sincere effort at truth and other people, other individuals. I'm hoping that the individuals begin to gain a greater, stronger voice in the community space so that we can strive towards truth and righteousness together as a global community. Thank you for watching. God bless you. I love you very much. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye now.